In this video, I'm going to show you how you can quickly create a table view and populate it, populate it with data from an NS array. Um, all right, so let's get started. So I just have a, a single view project here um, in the storyboard, and I'm going to go and add a few elements to my view controller. Uh, first, I'm going to add a button, which we will use later to... Uh, repopulate our table. We'll use this button to update our table view. And I'll show you how that that works a little bit later. Okay, so we have a button. Let's um, look for a label as well. Throw that up here. Car list. I have uh, an array with names of cars and that's what we're going to display in this table. So lastly, we're going to need our table view. Um, we're not using a table view. If we did a table view controller, that's creating a whole new view, which you could do, and uh, you could do that, and you could also um, implement all the things that I'm, that I'm doing here. Uh, if you were to drag out your own table view controller, you'd actually, they would create the methods that you need automatically in the um, view controller file. But we're going to use our own a little table view. I like to do it this way because I often don't want the whole view to be a table view. Um, I just want part of it and have freedom to have some labels and buttons up at the top here. And so I'm going to do that. I'm going to drag this to, you know, most of the lower portion of the screen. Okay, there you go. That looks good. Um, I'm going to add a cell as well. There, so I just searched for cell, table view cell came up, but dragged that over as well. Um, we're going to want to give this a, a name um, in the uh, attributes um, inspector right under identifier. We'll call this my cell, okay, because you need to refer to that later when you put in your data. Um, we're also going to want to create an outlet for our table view and for our button for that matter. So I'm going to click on the little butter, butler here. I'm going to go into our H file. Let's make some room. And so I'm going to drag over control, hold down the control key, drag over. And we'll call this table V, short for table view. Connect. And we'll make this an action. And we'll call it update. Connect. All right, so just those two elements. That's all we need. Um, we're going to now get out of split screen. A um, couple things. One other thing that we do need to do is to create, um, make sure that for our table view, we have data source and delicate connected to our view controller. So you just drag these over data source and delegate and just drop it on the little yellow icon here for view controller and that's now connected so now we can go ahead and do some coding so I'm gonna come on in here and I'm gonna create an NS array and actually I have some code right here which I'll make available to you guys to use come in here and in the view did load gonna... so I have this NS array of different uh, car companies and I'm actually going to make this a class variable. So we'll put that right after the end for the interface, right in between that and the start of the implementation. Put a uh, oh, semicolon in there. And I can get rid of this. And so now we have this array, NS array called cars. I want to make it a class variable because I'm actually going to update it in our update. Grab this code. And Okay, so uh, now in this IB action, I have a list of uh, American muscle cars. So that will update. When we press the update button, we will see that in our uh, table view, and I'll show you how that works. So I'm going to grab these um, list of code here. Buh, 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 buh. Let's see. Copy that, and put that right before the at end. 
got here. So um, there's these three methods which you should have. Actually, I think the only ones you have to have are these two. Um, this is if you select, um, which I can get into in a late, uh, future tutorial. If you do select um, a field, a one of the um, cells, you can have some action happen with that. Um, but these are for um, displaying information. You see you have uh, in this one here that's called a cell for a row at index path. You basically are looking at the identifier that we created earlier called my cell. And you're going to, in each cell, um, you're going to put in the objects of the car's array. Okay? And then it just returns the cell. This one just gives us the amount of cells we're going to need. and returns the size of the car's array. Okay, makes sense. Um, and then lastly, I'm going to put in this little call that's going to... So after we press our button, we have a new array, um, new information in our array, and then we're going to reload the table view. Uh, but uh, one more thing I do need is... Uh, let me see. Right, so one last thing you will need is some uh, code that goes right to the... in your dot h uh, view controller uh, right here you have to set up a couple of the delegates actually I don't think we need this one um, basically you're setting up your table view source and uh, table view delegate uh, basically that relates to those um, objects that we drug over from over here remember when we did that and so if you don't put these in here it won't actually work so that's kinda critical uh, and that should be everything. Let's kind of see what this looks like when we uh, run it in in our simulator. There you go. So um, by default, we have the first array that shows us all our car um, maker names. And if we hit update, there we go. You see the, the power cars. And if this did go down further, this um, naturally has a scroll view, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, if we had more elements in here. Um, so that, that's how that works. Nice and easy way to have a, uh, a table view for a list of, of uh, any kind of data that you would want. Um, thanks, and let me know if you have any questions.